Hello everybody, welcome to Friday Night Stand Firm. I'm Jimmy Ventura and with me is Gorilla Metal. We are just two days away from Elimination Chamber, one of the biggest pay-per-views of December because it's the only one, but it's gonna be the best one. Hello, Colorado Springs, Colorado. I am Gorilla Mezzo, the voice of the JFW, and we have one hell of a show for you tonight. Scaramezzo coming out to address a couple of things. He's got himself a match this Sunday. What else has he got to say? Let's get to ringside in just a minute to hear from the uh, maybe uh, soon to be no longer acting GM of JFW. Nailed it, Jim. There he is, walking out with authority, looking pretty confident about his match against the old man billionaire, Mr. Jim McMahon. And, you know, why wouldn't you, right? He's not a practice wrestler, but that still could be a match. Hello, JFW Universe. I am here tonight in what could be my final address as acting GM of the JFW, but it won't be because I'm going into Elimination Chamber and I'm going to kick the shit out of Mr. Jim McMahon. But honestly, tonight I am here to talk about another match. I don't need to give that glorified muscle-bound idiot any more screen time. No, I'm talking about the unnatural snackers tonight. The hearts and soul of the JFW no more. I'm getting pretty sick of their bullshit. And I got to believe the rest of the JFW universe is as well. They've been canceling matches. They've been ruining main events. They've been going after each other. It ends tonight. Triple threats. Unnatural snackers. Muppet Pack Man. J5 and Satterfield. And the winner of that match will get himself these final spots in the Extra Arms Belt Championship match. That's right, Satterfield won it, but they could not keep their shit together. So now that is on the line, folks. Whoever comes out victorious tonight will get the win. And let me send a message backstage to Johnny Five, Satterfield, and Muppet. No more bullshit. You three get out here for your matches. If any of you cause any shenanigans, that ruins this match. None of you are getting that spot. So I want to see one hell of a main event from three top guys that should be carrying this show as a trio if they want to go their separate ways. Just fine by me. It's happening tonight. See ya. Well, that's an incredible promo by Skurometto, but I, got, I don't know how he's going to beat Mr. Jim McMahon. I mean... You know, Jim's has got a whole foot of height on him, hasn't he? Like, I don't know how he's going to even reach his little arms up there to swing at him. Literally no one cares about that match, Jimmy. <laughs> Literally no one cares about that match. Way to bury the main event, though. Skuro coming out tonight, trying to sell a main event for the ages. The Unnatural Snackers finally unraveling. It ends tonight. And before we get there, we are going to take a look at all of our elimination competitors for the Plim Plum Pluser Weight Champion, that chip that will join I'm Too New For You and Crispy Ice. We've got up next, Le Bread Mask versus Eliod, one on one. Yep, and uh, your, your microphone's a bit poppy, uh, Gorilla. Oh, I don't it? know if there's anything. Oh, sorry, you know. I'm shouting a little bit more than normal. Maybe right. I'm too close. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Probably peaking it a little bit. How's that sound? Uh, still not, still not as good as usual, but maybe it will calm down. Really? That sounds weird to me. Yeah. Oh, sure. you know what? It's because I'm. Hang on. I'm gonna. I'll, I'll be right back here. One sec. Glorious Tom Schnees.
Little bread mask. All right, how are we sounding now? Plim, plum, blue, perfect. Yeah, it's uh. <laughs> okay, not anymore. <laughs> oh, can you not hear me at all? No, I couldn't hear you all in for a second. <laughs> All right, well, it. I'm talking now. Am I sounding okay? Yeah, now it's okay, yeah. It was perfect, then it went, like, off for a little bit, and then it's perfect again. Okay. Well, <laughs> let's see how this goes. I'm just going to talk for a little bit. It should be okay. Yeah, that's perfect. It sounded like you were speaking into your spank sock. Oh, God. Or your poop-picking-up mask, if you're, if you're Mia Khalifa. What the hell was that about? I haven't watched the video, but... I have no idea what you're talking about, nor do I want to dive into that There was a video posted all. in the shed of Mia Khalifa out walking her dog, and she had a mask on, and her dog pooped, so she picked it up with a mask, put it in the bin, and then put a mask back on. I can't, I can't imagine it was real. It can't be real, can it? There's Elliot Hall. All right. Elliot making his way down to the ring. Now, he is going to be in the Elimination Chamber match gotta think that he's kind of a dark horse in this one he has got himself a win or two in the plim plom plus weight division but he is not the pedigree of some of these other guys in this match and it's gonna be a, a long way for the rowdy one to go if he wants to wear the biggest title in professional wrestling <laughs> yeah yeah j5 i think that was taken as a given but it still seems unrealistic that a human would do that <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it? I was hoping to get a picture from Elliot, but I never, I never did. He's still got a boring generic bah, face. I don't think you need a picture. That face is perfect as is. <laughs> no, I'm not as perfect as a uh, bread mask there, though. No, true. And here we go. Tom Schniz, the Le Bread Mask, the Friday fuckboy, trying to go into Elimination Chamber with a big win against the competitor. He will see in that hellacious device we call the Elimination Chamber four pods. One will release a man to fight the other two in the ring. Every three minutes should be crazy. Oh, wow. If you, if you, can you set it that long? Uh, I believe so. I just said three minutes uh, reactively, but uh, I know <laughs> the elimination chambers we use will be using the max length. Glorious. Yeah, I, was, I meant to ask that's you that's what we that like in the JFW, max length. And max girth as well. Because, yeah, the, the, the ones that we do like randomly on stream, they're shit, aren't they? So it'd be good with it's a... It's so short, one. yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, was, I meant to... I've only... Re I, I, yeah. We don't need to talk about the production now, no. but I know they do last a good long while, uh, nice. but it's a nice match the way it plays out. Glorious. Oh, look at that. What a drop kick. Uh, Beautiful. Uh, yeah, Elliot firing himself up and going after the man who claims this night as his own, the Friday fuckboy himself. <laughs> he's, even in the, he's even in the colors of Stan Firm, isn't he? I never realized before. Hell yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh. Beautiful maneuver there by Lebred Mask, though, giving Elliot all he can handle and a little bit more. <laughs> yep. Hello, unseen. Hello, unseen Walker. Unseen getting pretty ready for his one on one grudge match against Flicky Flack. These two guys have been going at it since Survivor Series. Ain't no stakes in that one, just a bitter rivalry that needs to end so one of those two or both of those two can move on to bigger and better things. <laughs> yes, no spoilers, please. I haven't watched it yet, J5. I'll watch it. I, I have, in fact, watched it. Mm. So, oh, I don't care if you guys spoil it. But maybe <laughs> you spoil twat. It. <laughs> I, meant for me. I meant for me, not for Jimmy. Don't spoil it for Jimmy. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I watched, like, episodes two oh, to seven. Elliot. Like the other day. Elliot about eight seconds late on that drop kick there. <laughs> LeBred Mask was already in the ring when he jumped. Oh. Hey! Oh, 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 he stopped oh, him dear. again! 
Yeah, well, we all, we know Lebred Mask suffers from uh, <laughs> suffers from targeting issues, uh, but now we're getting it. We're getting it from uh, <laughs> from, from Elliot too. Maybe his glasses got cracked. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, that's fair, J5. That's fair. I, honestly, I see more stuff on like Facebook about people like yelling about other people should not be spoiling something and leading to more spoilers than I do anyone actively spoiling anything. It really pisses me off. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Like, I don't know if you know, but in, in uh, uh, Bruce Willis is a ghost at the end of Sixth Sense. I got How spoiled. Dare you. I I got that spoiled, you know. And, uh, I felt like I would have known it if it hadn't been spoiled, but I was kind of annoyed that it was spoiled because I thought I was watching. It, I was like, God, everyone's fucking stupid. <laughs> it's so obvious, but I didn't know, so I didn't know if I would have known or not. You know. And I very and I very distinctly remember being like, Oh, there must have been a lot of really insincere filmmaking to sell this because. And then I went back and watched it. And I was like, Yeah, I think M Night Shyamalan's just not a very good director because when you watch it and you're like oh this is stupid when you know when you know the hook it's really bad but if you don't know the hook it's like oh, it's okay but yeah there's a lot of cheating in that movie to sell that point in my opinion and he hasn't made a good movie since so <laughs> anyway Lebred mask all over elliot we do not need to we do not need to talk about m night Shyamalan when we've got m night Raya Milan in the ring right now with the pinfall, only a one count, and he is still very much in control. The Friday fuckboy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that's a fair point, Night Demon. Yeah. Like it, when it's straight after it, I think it. I think it's fair enough. Like about a few days after it's come out, but you know, if it's like a week later, you've got no fucking excuse, have you? And yeah, that was the up. worst. That was literally one of the worst movies I've ever seen, J5. I fucking hated that movie. Not quite as bad as the movie um, the, the movie where he spent 15 years delivering a message from his mom that uh, the best thing he could do is defend himself by hitting an alien with a baseball bat. Like, did he really need that? Was that really that epic a moment? Like, I never would have thought to hit this alien with the baseball bat that I'm holding. Without my mom having died, having died like ten years ago, saying "swing away," like come on. <laughs> anyway, 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 this is not Gorilla's movie corner. <laughs> this is Friday. Stand firm and standing very firm is not Elliot, who just got kicked in the side of the head and crumpled pretty miserably. Oh boy! Could this be his fate? On Sunday oh boy, night, this is it. Chamber. This is it. Red mask. Oh, he's got it. The 720 into the pinfall. It's got to be it. He's, and it sure is it. a very clean win by the red mask. And Elliot needs to sort his shit out in two days because that is not going to do it in Elimination Chamber against five other Plim Plom Loser Weights hungry for that title. <laughs> yeah, that was the hon 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 was too much for Elliot. <laughs> Fuck's sake, yeah. Bro. Oh, yeah. And now? next up, wait, wait, what? What? This is incorrect. This is incorrect. <laughs> it sure is. The fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck? Um, I can assure you, Bezel is not in this match, folks. I did the fucking card as well. What the hell? Oh, it's loaded the wrong fucking. Uh, it's loaded the wrong universe, probably. And I'll probably change the first match, and then not the rest. Um, this isn't even close to what it's supposed to be. No, I don't know what's going on. 
Next up, we're supposed to have Mighty AF taking on the YPA, Foxamania, and JBG. Hmm. But it looks like... Uh, I think we might have to restart. I think... I think so. I did the fucking card. I'm going to look at the card now. There's... Uh, there's Skuro. Interesting one out there. And then there's the Breadmask versus Elliot. And then second match is Frost Lord and Tony versus Foxamania and JBG. It's because I've deleted Foxamania and JBG, isn't it? Fuck me. Alright, well, we can skip this match. It's because I've deleted Foxamania and JBG. Why would you. Oh, because you made new versions of them or yeah. whatever? Yeah. Okay. Well, just to, just skip this match, as the ne and hopefully the next match will be correct. Yeah, it will be. Yeah. Ugh. Well, that's a shame. Are we gonna edit it all together after this? I just scrap the match. <laughs> I mean, I, that's up to you. <laughs> this is right, isn't it? This, yeah, this is correct. I believe. Yeah. What What happened was, guys, yeah. I had to I had to delete those. The I had to delete Foxamina and JBG and replace them so that I could send them to Skuro. So, unfortunately, that I I did change the tag team so the tag team was still those two, but I guess it didn't update on the card, so it fucked it. Never mind. It's well, Captain next Brilliant up we words. have more. Pl next up we have more Plim Plum, Pluserweight action, Ansi and Blue Bomber. The other two out of six, of course, Crispy Ice and your champion. I'm too new for you. Will be in that match as well. We've got Ansi. We've got Blue Bomber. This is going to be a high flying. Uh, not this match, but the the, <laughs> the actual match will be a high flying elimination chamber should be a good match yep hello lemon it's captain brainworms versus mega man it's brilliant isn't it that is pretty reasonable yeah <laughs> In fairness, Bezel, the game was like, cannot compute, deleted wrestler, must find closest thing to wrestler that is basically deleted. How about naked man? <laughs> How about naked man? <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> All right, well, Ansi, he's been all over the place as of late. Been tagging with his buddy, the Scotty and Big Man Little Man matches. He's uh, been near that Plim Plum Blizzard title before, but never sealed the deal. And, of course, we know his history with concussions and head injury. And also scary match for him. Scary match for him to be in this Sunday. Of all the people going into all of the chamber pods at Elimination Chamber, <laughs> he's the guy who might physically not walk out of one. Yep, and hello, Goliath. Oh. And yeah, I believe he has been spotted in the Shire uh, stealing some mushrooms. <laughs> mushrooms. <laughs> well, here we go. Blue Bomber out next. Again, another. He is pretty much one of the better high flyers uh, all things considered <laughs> in the Flim Flam Blues Away division yep but uh, has not has not gotten that gold either and he's had a few uh, few fair shots at it yep he's fucking big isn't he he's jacked he's a yeah, jacked he's up the, he's the Tony he's the he's the Tony Nice trained uh, or Formerly Tony B strained uh, uh, Plum Plum Blueserweight. Mm. Yeah, he is like Apollo Crews, yeah. Yeah, that's who I. Who he reminded me of. <laughs> I don't know who Tony Nees is. Yeah. Seen Tony Nice is even shorter than Apollo Crews and probably slightly more jacked. All right, fucking hell. 
Tony Nese is the guy who actually does the six pack point thing in the in the WWE. All right. <laughs> oh, and Ansi right off the rip just drives his knee into um into uh, Le Blue B Le Blue Blomber <laughs> Le Blue Blomber's <laughs> face. <laughs> Le Blum Blom Blomber. <laughs> Le Blue Blomber. <laughs> it's brilliant. Sorry, it's fantastic though. <laughs> Oh, and look at that. Nice deadlift powerbomb into the pin. No, Ansi kicking out before the count even starts. Oh, impressive. And Ansi all over Blue Bomber here. Whoop. <laughs> Absolutely, Ansi, yeah. Blue Bomber just going right after him outside the ring, but Ansi caught him and sending him into the uh, into the apron there. Ref counting to two. Action going back in the ring here. Blue Bomber right on top of Ansi again. <laughs> A lot of aggression out of these two right now. A little bit more fired up than, say, Elliot was trying to prove that they belong in the Elimination Chamber, trying to get that title. Here's a quick pin by uh, by Elliot, by Ansi. Probably pretty hopeful. Yep, just a long one count. Yep, no time to talk about spoilers or fucking horrible movies in this one. It's all action. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and there's Danny Dyer from the business. <laughs> a great movie. <laughs> oh dear. Blue Bomber jumps off the ropes there. They collide in the middle. Not much given. Quick kick to the gut. And now Ansi throwing Blue Bomber out of the ring and going right after him. These guys having a lot of extracurricular activities in this match. Yeah. Oof. Swift kick there. Ansi grabbing his back. The kick was nowhere near his back, which is uh, concerning. Maybe pulled something down there. But now Blue Bomber targeting it, and now, oh, 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 big knee right to the head. He knew his head is his one weakness, folks. <laughs> All you have to do is pummel it repeatedly, <laughs> and he's in a hell of a lot of trouble. Yeah. That was a good typo, actually, Night Demon. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if all the after all the snackers blows off, I wonder if uh, J5 wants to be rebranded as the Blue Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, well, he did a proper running stinger splash, not just a walk-up one. Yeah, sure he did. Didn't didn't work out for him. <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> oh, Ansi, nice uh, shoulder breaker there, driving the knee. Oh, look at Ooh. this, Ansi. I forget what his moves called. Yeah, it's the. Uh... But he hit it. Oh, it's a backstabber. That's right. It's a backstabber. The backstabber and the pin. Could he have caught him here? <laughs> he has. He did it. Nancy, look at that. Has he sorted his shit out? Is he ready for Elimination Chamber? He was getting his ass kicked, and he turned it around real fast with that backstabber. I think Nancy is in it to win it this Sunday, 10, or excuse me, yeah, 10 p.m. UTC. Yeah, that should be the dire drop, right? And then Nancy and... Uh... The so Scotty should be, a, yeah, should get the 3D and it should be the Dire Death Drop. <laughs> all right, that's fine by me, the Dire Drop. I don't know who Danny Dyer is, but all right. That's the, who's, his likeness is. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I assumed as much. That doesn't change my knowledge of the person. <laughs> well, he's in, been in some good films. You should check out the business. That's where all that right, look is and from. now we're getting, we're getting the other halves of the tag team championship match this sunday we've got night demon of six feet down under fan fox the reigning champ of dress for business his at his old nemesis oriolensis the country wizard and the newcomer to this whole little shebang here cocky he's been a long-standing tag team partner of cock and ball torture with moradam and they have finally found themselves in the running for the title could they shock the world by applying the shocker to these other <laughs> to these other uh six men oh boy i don't want to see that in the ring jim 
No, anything could happen. And uh, Goliath Games is referring to a movie there, not uh, the actor, <laughs> not the heinous actor thing. It is a movie <laughs> starring Danny Dyer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> um, yeah, he's been he's been in a bunch of movies I've enjoyed. To be honest, uh, Danny Dyer is a he's a funny fella. He's a funny fella. I I, I broadly like Danny Dyer movies. To be honest. All right, and here is the two heads champion, Fanfox, coming out first with authority. These guys would love to clear out of this Sunday night with those titles once again. But boy, is that going to be rough. We can't do tag elimination chamber matches. So we're just going to throw all eight men in the ring at once, and it will be an elimination match. And as we've seen before in these giant tag team elimination matches, once one tag partner goes out, it is scary for the other one for the rest of the match. So you know Lemon is Good and Bant Fox are going to want to turn it on early if they have any hope of keeping that gold around their waist. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a crazy match. Anything can happen and it probably will. Hashtag the true champs wear hats. There you go. Speaking of DOS hats, here he comes, the country wizard, Oriolensis. He's going to summon nothing. <laughs> He's going to summon himself a hat, actually. <laughs> That's right. Oh, I forgot. And then he's going to take it off immediately. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to take it off to wrestle, but, you know, hey. <laughs> <laughs> we fucking programmed this game. <laughs> Pretty incredible. Oh yeah, Christmas hats. Oh man. We should have a Christmas special, shouldn't we, for a uh, claw or something? Sure. I'm not editing anything for it. No, no, obviously. But I mean, I. You know. Just like your Among Us special? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Literally exactly that. <laughs> yeah, Bezel. <laughs> that, that's the one. And here he is, the Lem Dope champion, one half, or one third, excuse me, of six feet down, Nanda. It's Night Demon, the fucking zombie out of New Orleans. New Orleans. And I wonder if that third member will be a factor in this Elimination Chamber match. You know, who knows, he might turn up from backstage and get involved. You don't know. I mean, it's no DQ, right? Anything could yeah, happen. But but it's a pretty hard cage to get into. I wouldn't expect it. Well, we've seen stranger things happen before, Jim. Yeah, we have. I mean, we've seen the snackers invade the Hell in a Cell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But that was a tag team that was firing on all cylinders and no longer. Folks, if you're just tuning in, this main event tonight, the snackers go to war. It is J5 versus Satterfield versus Muppet Pac-Man. The winner will go on to Elimination Chamber to compete in the Extra Arms Belt Championship match. Wouldn't it be something if it was the smallest guy there competing for Extra Arms Bot's former championship? That'd be something. It sure would. <laughs> this is a pretty funny entrance. Look at that yeah, big hockey. guy. Count, counting up his 12-pack uh, there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> There's a reason. J5, you, you haven't got a response. <laughs> 
Oh Jesus! <laughs> I, I completely didn't see that. My brain, my brain tried to protect me from that one. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be something to see this weird diaper, diaper wearing Aussie with tag team gold around his waist? Very unorthodox, he and the literal fucking goblin. But they are dirty players, and a uh, eight man elimination match is a uh, good way for a dirty player to shine. Let's get half of that out of the way right now. Here we go, four way action. Oh, flying crossbody into the punches right off the bat. And FanFox is uh, greeted by what could be the toughest competitor in the match as a singles wrestler. Um, but there will be eight men to contend with in this one. Yep. Night Demon just working over FanFox right now. An amazing stalling suplex. This uh, is elimination, isn't it? I believe. Uh, it should be, yeah. Yeah, I think it is. I think so. If it's not, it's going to be going on for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like FanFox has recovered from that opening. Salvo sends him through and into the turnbuckle post. But Night Demon right back on him. No, Van Fox countering, staying on top. Nope. <laughs> Not for long. No. Brutal. And then outside the ring, uh, the Country Wizard just working over Cocky right now. <laughs> Missing that right <laughs> to a stunned opponent. Incredible. <laughs> Oh, big counter. Oh boy, what a move from Night Demon here. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Oh, that might that might get him. That might get him there. Oof. No, kicks out at two. Cocky still just gets punched in the ass by <laughs> Coriolensis and now sent back in the ring here. And yeah, the fact there was no attempt by the uh, the other two to break that up means I'm oh. pretty sure this is an elimination. Yeah, here we go. A zombie my lined up so on the nice bleeding. No, he, oh, he awesome. thought he countered him, but he's got him up and down. That's got to be it for FanFox. Oh, no, he kicks out again. Oh, maybe a strategic error by FanFox. You know what? This match isn't going to mean a whole lot except your pride. Take the loss and get out of there. Make sure you don't get too injured because you are getting annihilated right now by Night Demon. Oh, a little bit of a mercy there. He got distracted by the other two. But still, these pairs have not traded off. Yeah, that was amazing. Orlens is just sitting in the corner. Fantastic taunt. And thank you very much, Night Demon, for the bits. Absolutely glorious. Thank you very much. <laughs> Pay to win, baby. <laughs> That's the JFW. <laughs> it's all about the backstage politics, just yeah, like Double Double Eight. Pay Jimmy so that Skuro can spend extra long making sure you win. <laughs> it's a great fucking setup. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh my god, the kendo, the structural kendo stick from Kogi. Getting a bit of a fight back in him there. And Fanfox on yeah, the comeback absolutely. trail here. Sure is. Might see a right. Oh, there's that spine buster, too. We've seen him end matches with just that. And yeah. now, maybe no countered by Night Demon. Double leg takedown into those punches. Fan Fox doing everything he can to protect his head, already bleeding from it. Oh. Just the one count on that pin. That was very hopeful by Fan Fox. It was indeed. He might be concussed and thought it was uh, Night Demon was the one that taken all the damage. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, and now FanFox rolling out of the ring wisely to recover. And it looks like he got forgotten about a little bit there. Night Demon got intercepted. And there's a three-way going on in the ring right now. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, FanFox has a, having to watch this three-way event from the outside doesn't get to play. <laughs> yeah, we, I think we all know what that feels like. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be dirty, Jim. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. He was taking a breather on the ropes, and Fanfox was yeah. straight in to take him out. Worked oh, out. Oh, Worked oh, out pretty well for him. Oh, boy. It's table leg. Oh, hi, Wanga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice uh, big uh, back body drop there by Fanfox. And it looks like we finally have switched partners. Oh, and much to cocky chagrin, instantly <laughs> AA or Zombaid. Who's the count on? I have no idea. Cocky was the first one. It was on cocky. Oh, and then <laughs> Wow, that was like a five count there on Orioleses, <laughs> but it didn't matter. Unbelievable, Jeff. Well, he, he was just waiting for the three to kick out. I'm sure he could have kicked out on three. Oh, but here's a rock bottom. Oh, Fox bottom. He might Fox not be able to kick out of this. putting the country wizard down. And I think this might be it for Oriolensis. It is. And it is. Oriolensis eliminated from this one. Fanfox going high impact here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he jumped halfway across the damn ring and put his elbow right through the undead's head. Aim for the head, baby. But then he gets his own head driven in to that eight feet of concrete <laughs> well, yeah that was unbelievable i thought he had no chance See, of making that not at all i i do know fan fox does have some serious uh for whatever reason uh because i remember looking at it before he does have a massive uh, aerial range <laughs> he doesn't do a lot of aerial moves but his aerial range just got jacked up at some point and i think it's just <laughs> Well, oh, look at this, though. Night Demon coming right back and giving it right back to him. Ooh. Oh, fuck you, Night Demon. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, I mean that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Rocky doing everything in his power to save us from that one. <laughs> <laughs> Man Fox rolling out of the ring, and now Cocky paying for paying for it with his own head as he gets lawn darted straight down. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> it's funny, I don't mind the music and the look from Tony, but that fucking <laughs> fucking it's just it's just those weak ass shoulder taps. Yeah. And like that 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 that, that is the comeback and the setup that we all know and hate. Oh, <laughs> like, God. There's just no reason for it. Whoa, going oh. up to the ref there. Maybe <laughs> wanted a little bit of a, a brain snack or something. <laughs> uh, gave Cocky an opening though. I guess he failed his bloodlust. <laughs> Animal savagery now, <laughs> Gorilla. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wait, is that is that what they're doing with Bloodlust? It's actually animal savagery now? For now it is, yeah, yeah. Oh, dear. That's going to make that part unplayable, huh? Yeah, I think the idea is, you know, they'll be bringing out a spy with vampires in where they make the new Bloodlust. And they oh, that makes think sense. About, they didn't want to think about it yet, so they're just going to give them animal savagery for now, which is horrendous. Fair enough. Horrendous! <laughs> Cocky sending Night Demon out, and instead of pinning a very prone <laughs> Fan Fox, decides to do no damage whatsoever to Night Demon outside the ring. Oh, he's oh, got the structural not. kendo he's stick! He sure God. does! Oh. oh, right to the back of the head! That's almost exactly where Fan Fox's elbow landed. Oh, the <laughs> Spine Buster onto it! Night Demon in serious trouble here. Nicely done by Cocky as I was mocking him. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Yeah, that's it, mate. You know, maybe he wanted to keep Fanfox in to use him uh, against Night Demon. You know, like it, Night Demon's a tough competitor to take down one on one. So while he could have put out uh, Fanfox, keeping him in to take on Night Demon, valid strategy. Oh. Yeah, Fanfox awareness really bad there. Uh, or at and least to eat a zombie and that's for him. Probably cost him this <laughs> match. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Got me. Cocky going for the glory here. He definitely gets the kick out. And it looks like it bought FanFox another zombie. Oh, Good lord. Oh, oh no, he, I think he interrupted it. He oh, interrupted that was it. lucky. Lucky for someone. Oh, oh. <laughs> Cocky 
is all over uh, night season right now. Oh, he stuffed it again. <laughs> the worst kind of way. Somebody's gonna pay for this. <laughs> oh, Kaki almost pinned. No kicks out. Fan Fox and Night Demon again. These two guys, no, you know, with uh, with with complete respect to Lean Gary, I gotta believe Fan Fox and Night Demon are probably the top two guys individually. Oh, for fuck's sake, Kaki! <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> That would have been way better if you didn't kick out. Yeah. That would have been shit. so much better if you didn't kick out. Oh, well, now he's going for the pin on the right guy. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Fucking He's insane. got him. Cocky, cocky put insane. down. <laughs> that was a hell of a zombie, wasn't it? <laughs> sure was. That's Fan Fox versus Night Demon. Will these two guys be last men standing at Elimination Chamber? Wouldn't that be something? I could definitely see that happening. Yep, it definitely is a possibility. Lemon is good. Welcome aboard. Your tag team partner has got to run the ringer here. One more pinfall for a victory in this match to go into Elimination Chamber with a very nice and hot, hard-fought win. Oh, just, I said, oh, just a trip in. to a local medical facility. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. My team with the zombie in the pin. Oh, he's kicked oh, out. He's kicked out. He's kicked out. Unbelievable. Night Demon's got to be the most dangerous wrestler for getting his finisher off than anyone else in the JFW. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Foxmania. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> your match got bumped due to incompetence. Apologies. Yeah. Yeah, we had a tag sorry. match. We're, we're going to run it. We'll run it after the show. Yeah, that's a good idea. Technical difficulties, I would say, rather than incompetence. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, say, I, I didn't say it was your incompetence. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> It was like uh, it was like uh, you and 2K teamed up to fuck over my show. I mean, <laughs> our show. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dropping the elbow into the spine there. These two guys are going at it, raw and hard, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> Nicole G. McCulties, <laughs> I love it. This is going to be close. I whoever, I think both of you guys are going to lose this a little bit given the match you've got coming up in just two days and what you're going through right now. But you might have this one. I don't know. I don't know, Frosty. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> it's definitely on Jimmy's channel. I agree, Frostler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Frosty. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is. The zombie finally caps the match. Night Demon, your winner. What a match. And, folks, if you like that one, imagine twice as much action when all eight men of this tag division are going at it in this elimination match. Should be a wild one. Yeah, I can't wait. It's going to be hellacious. No, beyond, beyond hellacious. This is going to be a match for the ages. Yeah. <laughs> Tom. <laughs> All right. And now here it is, folks. The last spots remaining in the World Heavyweight Championship match against well, Tony plays poorly at all. We have another tag match. The winner of the tag match, both men will be added to Elimination Chamber. Will it be Dave, firstborn, firstborn's first son, <laughs> Calcium Gaz, or Odonta Kellis, the former dominant world heavyweight champion haven't seen him in a while here he comes with one last hurrah to try and get into elimination chamber and end the year 
the way he started it. That's not true at all. No, but it could have been. <laughs> in some kind of... <laughs> in some kind of alternate reality. <laughs> Yeah, we haven't seen a lot of uh, we haven't seen a lot of Ordon, have we? So it'll be interesting to see him back on the scene. Well, part of that was because we didn't have a good way of me pre-recording stuff with him. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't upload him. Yeah. <laughs> he's serving hard time because he's a Mountie. Get it? The mount, the weekend mounty, the warrior, or whatever you want to call him. <laughs> yep. Not wearing a mounty hat. That's for sure. Nope. It's weird though. I feel like Cobb County, Georgia, is a little out of his jurisdiction. <laughs> it's on my way out. Have a fun right, show. You, I will Demon. catch you all in the next one. Glorious. Thank you very much, Night Demon. Thank you very much, and uh, good night. And he is Dave! Yeah, Dave would love to get himself in the running for the world heavyweight title. He's had a pretty storied career. He's one of the fan favorites. Can Dave get it together with a tag partner he's never been in the ring with before? Should be something. It's a good question, Foxamania. Is it at usual time, 10 p.m. UTC, school or, or could you do an hour uh, it, earlier on a Sunday? Um, I could probably do an hour earlier. Let me just check the Patriots game. <laughs> oh, glory. Uh, they are scheduled to get annihilated by the Dolphins in Miami at 1 p.m. my time, so that'll be over about 4 p.m. my time. So I could probably say that we could start at 9 p.m. UTC, Fantastic. I might be very sad. Or I might be very excited. No, also, it doesn't matter. Their season is over anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I sure would love to see them beat the Finns so Try gets mildly annoyed at the Patriots. <laughs> Fox Mania, I haven't recorded your match yet for EC. I would watch your fucking words. <laughs> <laughs> well, no surprise to see what's happening to Foxamania in the Elimination Chamber. <laughs> uh, just, this just in, because Foxamania did not show up for his match earlier tonight, he has been cut <laughs> from the JFW and fired out of a cannon. <laughs> Uh, no, no, I don't think the Finns are a big deal, but the big one's the Jets, isn't it? Because you could be, you could be the uh, team that gives them their win. <laughs> I know that would be amazing. Well, I mean, yeah, that would be pretty amazing, actually. That would, that would be the most Belichickian thing to do. If there was any way that it would cost them the number one pick, I would one thousand percent believe Belichick would tank the game against them to cost them a number one pick. <laughs> And the th it would be the right decision, so yeah, I think he would. Yeah, it probably would, especially if the season's over, which it, it technically, like, mathematically it isn't, but it fucking is. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, uh, might, you might as well tank and get a better pick yourself anyway. Yeah. Who eats for the fucking dolphin thing, honestly? <laughs> All right, well, you're talking of swagger, which we weren't. Oh, Don Tegelis, with all the swagger as he makes his way out to the ring. There's the Lederhosen German turtle man thing. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that was so weird, Ansi, because the, the Dolphins had lost every match in that season. I'm like, what? And they won a game, and I'm like, what are they fucking playing at? Why on earth would you win a game? That's so stupid. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but with the with with the Colts, the Colts are one of the most pathetic franchises I've ever seen in all of sports. Because I've been to Lucas Oil Stadium, and hanging from the rafters there, like most people hang like championship banners and stuff, hanging from the rafters at Lucas Oil Stadium is a banner that says AFC Championship Runner Up. <laughs> Congrats on your second or third place, whatever, however you want to look at it. 
your first loser to not make the Super Bowl banner. Congrats, guys. Glad you're real proud of that. Look at this right off the bat. Firstborn treating treating calcium just like calcium treats most of his uh, his opponents, his 14-year-old opponents, and that's like father, like son. <laughs> I'm glad you're a fan of uh, all that uh, table work. Glorious. <laughs> Oh, man. I don't know how you assholes stole my stole all my fucking uh <laughs> like they're doing my how do they do my uh my emotes without subbing me? I don't I don't understand. You can put channel points, can't you? Oh shit. Oh you can? Actually that's cool. Okay, I'm cool with that. Yeah. I remember the first time people I had did no that. idea. Was, yeah, I remember the first time people did it when so was like, How are these assholes doing this? Well, I got really paranoid because I was like, did I miss a bunch of subs? I don't think I have. I have, like, two subs. I'd feel really bad if, like, 50% of my subs didn't get acknowledged. <laughs> At least Frostlord won his uh, his emotes honorably. Oh, dear. Odon's getting right in here, isn't he? Look at this. Sure is. I mean, again, all, all three of these other guys combined don't have half the experience of Adonta Kellis in That's championship true. matches. That's cool. Very running true. power bomb right there to uh, to firstborn. Yeah, but it's hard to back against Odon in this, actually, isn't it, when you think about it? Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, Frosty. And in comes Dave. Dude. And instantly controlled easily by Adonta Kellis once again. <laughs> oh, Gorilla, I've just realized, you know, I didn't want, know what to do for the Yep emote. But could you do, could you, all right, I'll ask you, I'll ask you afterwards. But remind me to ask okay. you. Okay. I don't want to put You're you You're halfway spot. through asking me now. <laughs> yeah, well, I was going to ask you now, and then I realized I shouldn't. So I, don't, I shouldn't put you on the spot. So I'll ask you, remind me to ask you after the show, please. Okay, fair right, enough. Message me in Discord or something. In fact, I'll message you on Discord now. That's easier. Okay. Okay, yeah. All right, and back to our actual job here, everyone. <laughs> commentary commentary takes, a, takes a side step sometimes, and here we go. Look at this. Adonta Kellis. We're up to a six count. They're on the corner. A little bit dangerous here. Probably okay. Seven count now. Long eight count coming, though. And, yeah, it looks like we're good now. Oh, well, maybe we're not. Oh dear, wouldn't this be really frustrating? Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that would have been a really terrible way for us to try and take four men and put them into two spots. <laughs> All right, there you go. I sent you the message that I just thought of. The thing that I just thought All right. Oh, big back body drop to Adonta Kellis, but he does have that shell to fall back on. <laughs> so he's probably okay. It appears to have gone through the ring floor. Yeah, that'll happen. He's bringing in calcium to take on his dad. <laughs> Absolutely, calcium pretty fresh and uh... Well, that <laughs> was fresh. <laughs> he's, used to, he's used to beating up people half his age. Now he's, now he's gone after someone double his age. <laughs> yep. Firstborn locking in that trapezius claw there. Ooh. Ooh, he's walking him over to the corner. Looks like, yeah, yeah, he walked him a little bit too slow. Calcium able to elbow his way out right in the face of Dave and send him right back to the friendly corner with the Don Tekelis. You going to see a tag in? We are going to see a tag in. Tag team maneuver coming here. Look Ooh. at these guys. Ooh, bit of a double backstabber there, but not able to prevent the tag in for <laughs> Dave. Dave. In with the big boot. And another running kick there. Unbelievable stuff by Dave. <laughs> but Odon right back up both times and now countering with a backbreaker. Unbelievable, Jeff. 
just shrugged it all off, didn't he? Complete no sell from Odon. Yeah, he sure did. Sure did. Dave trying to get him up, but cannot. Odon Tekelis fights him off, sends him into the corner here. Oh, tags in, uh, tags in Calcium Cavs. Oh, look at this. A Donta Bomb. Oh, into the, into the, 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 uh, the RKO there. Yeah, incredible. And Calcium was but so happy with himself, him, he didn't stop the tag. <laughs> yeah, let him tag out. Big mistake there. But Firstborn didn't do much better coming in. Calcium with the pin only gets a one count. Whoa. Brutal, savage knee. Got a nice feel of his cock there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think he's uh oh he's taking the turnbuckle off right in front of the ref there. Classic classic. Looking to set him up dangerous maneuver. Oh no, but oh. he sent it to it himself! Oh, that backfired horribly. And now Odonta Kell is trying to I don't know what he's trying to argue the ref there. <laughs> Good day, Kaki. Oh, but could we see that Kinshasa now? Dave's still down. Oh, he's just I'm got sorry, on the, the crane he's kick. Just got onto the uh, apron just in time. What a performance from Dave! Yeah, Dave really <laughs> saving the match there. Oof. Paying for it though. Oh what the hell was that? <laughs> Did you see that? Uh <laughs> Calcium went for the low blow, got countered. Ref distracted, fixing the turnbuckle. We're at like an eight count here. Ref, ref didn't count. Didn't count anything. Oh man, disgusting. Oh, that ref's situational awareness is not shown there. <laughs> Caught a real break there, Cocky and Ordon. Cocking order and calcium in order. Oh, this though. Look at this. Locked in a sleeper on him though. He's able to get out of it. <laughs> Dave taking another nap off the apron here. Another big move into a pinfall. Could end this match. There's a big back body drop. They going right into a pinfall effort. No. Stomps on him, Dave back on the apron now. Match continues. Yep, Dave looking fresh as a daisy now. Oh, big spine buster by Adonta Kellis into the pinfall here. Far way to go for Dave, but he's got it. <laughs> he get the pace for it. Sure does. That move. <laughs> Now Adon Tekelis just taking his time here, lining up something on Firstborn. Oh, oh boy. He's taking power. It's yeah, the Adon Tekelis. And Dave nowhere near helping here. This has got to be it. Oh. There it is. Is he going right for the pin? He is. No Dave to come. Oh, and that'll do it. Adonta Kellis and Calcium Gas are going to ex the Elimination Chamber. <laughs> ex Elimination Chamber. You heard it here first, everyone. Ex Elimination Chamber. Odonta Kellis vying to get his title back. It's been a long time. And uh, Calcium Gas vying for relevancy at all. <laughs> yep. Oh boy, incredible. Yeah, well, we do know Calcium Cas has a bit of an aversion to finals matches. So, uh, <laughs> you know, hard to, hard to expect a good showing from him, but hopefully he can perform better than he did when he lost in his Blood Bowl championship match in the SFL. <laughs> the oh, Scurimezzo, the Cap Scurimezzo's two-time, two-time SFL championship. Anyway, it is time for your main event of the night. The triple threat to end all triple threats. Johnny Five, Buffett, Pac-Man, and Satterfield are going 1v1v1. The winner of this match will fill the final empty pod at all of the Elimination Chamber matches. 
Will it be uh, Satterfield who won that spot initially, the smallest guy in the ring, Muppet Pac-Man, or the somewhat undefeated Johnny Five? Whoever wins tonight goes into Elimination Chamber with a chance at the Extra Arms Belt Championship. Yeah, undefeated in his mind, Johnny Five. <laughs> 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 if only that was popular possible uh philosophy. yeah you can't do you can't do interruptions on multiplayers or uh, multi multi-man matches and here he comes wiggling his way out first it's muppet pac-man yeah. pac-man and he's got his work cut out for him. I mean, this guy can hang with anyone of any size, yeah, but having two two angry snackers. Wait a second, wait a second. What's going on here? Uh, I don't know. You tell me, Jim. I'm not hearing anything. What do we got? Oh, boy. We've got we've got backstage. It's it's Marcel. <laughs> oh, oh, no, Marcel. Marcel has intercepted J5 <laughs> going to the ring right now. Oh, dear. <laughs> and they're going at it. Marcel attacking J5, preventing him to, from getting to his match. Scurro said any shenanigans by by Johnny Five, Muppet, or Satterfield would have serious ramifications. But you can't say that J5 instigated this. I don't know what's going to happen here. Marcel is going after Johnny Five backstage to spoil this match. And wait a second, in the other room there, it's Crusher. Crusher laying out Satterfield. Crusher taking out Satterfield, squashing him like a fucking bug. Oh my goodness, the calamity. Folks, I don't think we're gonna get a main event tonight. I don't know how we're gonna fill that final pod spot. This is a mess. Crusher just laying out Satterfield with the chair, throws the damn chair down on him, kicks through the chair. Oh my God, so we're gonna need medical attention for Satterfield. Oh my god, unbelievable. Oh, <laughs> laid out by Crusher. Crusher furious. They've been bumped match at, or week after week. Oh no, and the fight continues. Lady Destroyer, Marcel McDaniels <laughs> going after J5. Looks like J5 might have caught him out here. No, no, Marcel. I'm on a little delay because I can't see it on the, on yeah. the Discord. Yeah, yeah, fucked up. No, no. That's fine. Um... <laughs> Marcel and J5 tearing each other apart near the uh, parking area there, the garage of the arena. Marcel oh. looks always looks jacked. Oh, my, my uh, it's all about his ladies and his muscles. Boy, oh no! And now Satterfield boy, spills boy, out, boy, <laughs> spills out of that uh, <laughs> that interview area there. And the fights, oh. these fights are fast and furious here. Satterfield Snack kicking, uh, oh, but a snack mask to recover by Satterfield. Unbelievable, Jack. Oh, <laughs> drives him into the door. Yep. Now it looks like Satterfield might have had the upper hand here. Now Lady Destroyer, uh, or sorry, Lady Destroyer is J5. Yeah. <laughs> Marcel McDaniels, oh, he's got that chair. <laughs> and just these two are just going at it oh j5 coming back here though and j5 would love to put this little punk down and out uh i am getting word we are not going to be having our main event tonight it has been ruined we will get in a, an official announcement from uh somebody this weekend to announce what we're going to do and back, oh man, oh, the trash can now. <laughs> the trapezius claw. <laughs> Brutal. Yep. Satterfield looks dumb Crusher here. just literally crushing Satterfield there. <laughs> well, now we're back to J5 and Marcel. Indeed, J5, now they're going into the, uh, uh, the interview area. J5 really taking it to marcel oh he's bloodied him oh my goodness marcel might have paid for his sins here and look at this j5 oh. lining something big up here 
Man. Oh, man. And we've lost our feed, folks. Folks, <laughs> that's it. We got to go. We are out of time. We are going to have to go off the air. But I will see you Sunday night. Uh, 9 p.m. UTC is when we're going to try and get things started. 9 p.m. UTC for Elimination Chamber. We've got a hell of a show in store. I look forward to seeing you all then. My name is Gorilla Mezzo. I am the voice of the JFW, Jimmy Ventura. Thanks for having me. As always, I'll see you on Sunday night. And thanks very much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.